Good afternoon, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the uh, US markets for Thursday's trading session, the 16th of March 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now let's try and um, give you a summation. Really, I think the theme is uh, one of a less than hawkish Yellen, or if you want to choose, uh, a outright dovish Yellen. So market certainly had been uh, believing the rhetoric of a um, potential uh, hawkish stance going forward in terms of the... Uh, the actual Federal Reserve, and that certainly has not been the case. Uh, with the, her cronies certainly talking up three rate hikes, etc., etc., given the fact on the back of obviously Mr. Trump's fiscal stimulus, so on and so forth. And like I said, that hasn't been the case uh, at all. Okay, she certainly seems to have uh, done a complete U turn, sent the dollar tumbling, okay, and sent US equities to new highs. So if you add in the fact that Miss Yellen is dovish, and in the fact that Mr. Trump obviously is going to do his uh, one trillion fiscal stimulus, then you certainly have equity markets ripping higher, and that's exactly what's happened. Also, the Dutch elections, obviously, the Dutch elections certainly didn't turn out as uh, as bad as everybody expected because they were a harbinger for what's to come in terms of French elections, and that certainly is helping risk as well. And you are you are seeing. A uh, short squeeze, uh, uh, obviously, ensue, uh, especially with regards to Nasdaq. Nasdaq hitting new highs certainly is a potentially bullish sign. Okay, now where do we stand? Uh, U.S. data certainly has come out uh, thus far. Uh, you have the BOJ overnight. Nothing major uh, of any importance in terms of market moving. Uh, in terms of the dollar, certainly is coming into support. Uh, CPI data in Europe certainly came in line. BOE certainly more hawkish than expected, hence the reason why the FTSE is under pressure. Uh, US data has come out, housing starts, building permits, certainly mixed, nothing, not overtly bullish. Continuous jobless claims came in at 2.03, slightly lower than expected, but jo initial jobless claims came in slightly higher, so mixed reading there again. The Philadelphia manufacturing survey certainly did come out stronger than expected. We have jolts numbers. Uh, out later on uh, and uh, that again will not be majorly market moving it's not a uh, highly sensitive data point okay so really the theme is asian markets uh, certainly lackluster in terms of the nikkei mainly due to the fact the usd jby is plunging but we have the shanghai uh, shanghai up 0.8 percent and the hang seng up two percent which is very very impressive in terms of europe really um, we had a uh, rally in the FTSE above 7400 which has been quite impressive German DAX was up almost uh, 100 points at one time before it gave back the gains on the back of a potential uh, terrorist scenario in France, possibly anyway. I think let me just see the latest news with regards to France. Let's just have a look quickly. Shooting taking place at French College in southern town of Grasse, several injured. Also, there was a letter that potentially exploded as well, which again is, uh, I think you have one or two casualties, but I'm not sure whether that's terror related of terror related or not but again nevertheless certainly is hurting risk you have a gbp spiking as well today you have euro spiking above 1.07 again not deterring the uh, the actual rally itself okay so just bear that in mind okay so where do we stand then in terms of uh, the technical picture let's start off with the dow okay so the dow jones going over to the daily chart the dow jones certainly bounced off gap fill Okay, let's see how high we can go. Do we go higher and, and test double top? Certainly is a possibility. Okay, or do we make a lower high? So again, that certainly is open to debate. Okay, in terms of the German DAX, just sorry, the Dow. Uh, you do have an unfilled gap above though, so just bear that in mind. Uh, the unfilled gap that remains, uh, especially with a dovish yellow, certainly looks like it wants to be closed at 21,007. At the moment, the, the, the Dow certainly is back into that 21,008 number. So certainly into gap fill. Let's see if gap fill resistance holds. If not, then obviously, like I said, you're going back up to test those highs back at 21,150. So again, certainly take that into consideration as well in terms of the Dow. Let's quickly look at the Dow Transportation Index. Okay, so Dow Transportation Index was into support. Uh, bounce certainly was expected regardless. You had a bullish engulfing day. You should see some continuation and follow through now. As to how far the continuation goes, again, that's debatable. Take the pivot high to low, so you have 50, 61, and 75%. So watch out for those levels. They will be quite important, okay? 
Okay, now in terms of the uh, the actual uh, Dow, we've looked at that for you. In terms of the Russell, now the Russell, watch out for gap fill resistance. Once we get once we get to gap fill, certainly watch out for that level again. You, there is a H and S formation as well. Okay, so again, something that we certainly need to be made aware of. If the Russell can take out that high, uh, lower high, then obviously the bulls are in control. Until then, the bears are in control. So don't just don't be too excited with regards to uh, Miss Yellen's uh, dovish message. Okay, certainly as always, as all, as traders, we certainly need to be open-minded. It's all about this right shoulder now on the Russell. Now, if the Russell takes out the seventy-five percent, then we could potentially retest the highs and even make an, a higher high. So again, that certainly is open to debate. Okay, in terms of the market and obviously be flexible both ways. A daily chart on the S and P 500. You have doubled sort back at uh, 2400. Okay, whether or not we can test that currently around the 2388 level. Uh, 60 minute chart. You did have a topping tail towards the close and we did actually close that gap. Uh, but in reality, where do we stand? Let's just quickly look at the 10 minute chart in terms of the S and P. Now there is an unfilled gap at uh, 2395. So something tells me uh, that that gap certainly is looking to close, okay, especially in the back of a, a dovish yelling. So don't be surprised to see that gap close. Uh, again, once we get to that gap at 23.95.96, that's when I'll start to exercise some caution. So I think until that gap is filled uh, at present, you certainly need to uh, remain in the bull camp from my perspective, okay. Certainly held support here, okay. And let's see how the market reacts, okay, in terms of the S&P. And that certainly goes in in uh, in motion with the Russell. Now, the Russell, R Russell closes the gap and the S&P closes the gap. That certainly is a zone where I'll certainly looking to uh, potentially uh, short the market, okay. Right, in terms of the... Uh, the actual Nasdaq now. Nasdaq really is the uh, the the real uh, bullish uh, candidate out of them all. Daily ch weekly chart, you can see no pullback at all. Daily chart at the moment is a breakout, so very very impressive. 60 minute chart, we've broken out of previous resistance, which is seen uh, around the uh, 53 90 5400 zone. Uh, topping tail towards the close, so just watch out for 5430. But from my understanding. Certainly is nothing stopping this from continuous uh, a move higher. Okay, especially with the European markets higher now as well. The Dutch election uncertainty certainly uh, disappeared as well. Okay, so risks can certainly be embraced and, and the markets can certainly push higher. So again, that certainly is uh, is outright bullish from my perspective. We can cross-reference that with the biotechs. Uh, biotechs do have a double top. Okay, so again, just watch out for that. If the biotechs hold that resistance, then you are going to see resistance in the NASDAQ being held. Uh, looking at the semicons as well. Quickly look at the semiconductors. Here we go. Okay, semicons certainly bullish. Daily chart certainly bullish. So semiconductors bullish certainly supporting the uh, the thesis that the uh, the Nasdaq will be bullish. Everything certainly looking bullish from my perspective. Okay, on that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus. Goodbye now.